sure I'm interested in understanding the role of uh, uh, accounting information in capital market. So I'm open to any topics related to this research question and using mostly, but uh, not limited to archival data. So um, for example, so currently I'm working on a couple of projects about uh, litigation, contingency, disclosure, and uh, you know, this disclosure actually is very important to investors because they can use the information disclosed here to predict the outcomes of uh, litigation cases, and therefore uh, they can you know, make their, you know, you can estimate the stock prices and adjust their investment strategies accordingly. But on the other hand, managers, they are always reluctant to disclose such information because this information can help their rivals in a court to win a case eventually. So we just find this is very interesting. And uh, you know, we want to study how this disclosure looks like given this uh, tension between managers and uh, investors, as well as other potential related parties. I, I think if you consider applying for accounting PhD programs, so before you apply, my suggestion would be you really want to know as much as possible about uh, what accounting research is and what is the life of accounting PhD students and uh, accounting professors. Okay. Because this can be very different from people normally perceive. Okay. And, uh, you know, it, and it's very different from other PhD programs such as uh, engineering and uh, biology. Okay. So the first thing I want you to do is you really want to make sure you are interested in accounting and business in general. Okay. Because for accounting programs, okay, we don't have labs, we don't have big groups. So most time you have to work alone and doing PhD is a very long and loading process. Okay. So without a strong interest, okay, it's really hard to hold up for such a long time and succeed eventually. So this is the first qualification. And second, in addition to a good knowledge of accounting standards and uh, you know, practice, we expect our students to have a high quantitative skills for two reasons. Okay. The first reason is that okay, many accounting theories actually originally come from economics and are developed in mathematical models. So it's better to understand, okay, figure out those models to fully understand those coming theories. And second, you know, nowadays we rely more and more on big data analysis. That's very helpful. But to prepare for this analysis, we better be equipped with necessary skills, including softwares and uh, statistic theories. So those are the two qualifications I think PhD students in accounting should have. Okay. And that's it.